So Waller was a big disappointment for me. Um, I just was really disappointed. Once you kind of, um, yeah, you just you just get knocked off your horse, you get back along again. And I just kind of said, all right. And it wasn't personal slight on Jerry or anything, but I just was disappointed about um, the way they'd gone. I was happy with the three matches I had in the King of the Ring. I thought oh, yeah. that was one of my finest uh, nights. All three matches were by those standards anyway were pretty realistic and they were all different. It wasn't like the same match in all three. They were all different and all uh, all three guys did a lot for me that night. But Lawler stiffed the shit out of me with that uh, whatever it is that the word scepter. That scepter right. yeah. He really potatoed the shit out of me. I thought he broke my back. Um, I was so mad. I thought I'll I'll fix him when I see him kind of thing. All right. So I can't remember that for a long time. Is it, it was one of the worst potatoes I ever got. Um, so then I, I actually, you know, and then you get where you forget it, you forgive it. It's just one of those things that, you know, I worked with them. And then I ended up doing the thing with Doink. Right. Which was a nice little twist, but it meant I had to work twice. And it was a nice little twist for everybody. But I worked with Doink with him in the sharpshooter, and Walter right. came up from behind. And if you ever watch, I thought he... I thought he scarred my face. He whipped me with a crutch like a golf club, swung it like a golf club, whacked me in the face, he snapped all the way around, and almost, uh, almost cut my face. You could feel my skin um, almost get sliced, and it really hurt big time. And so, of course, when uh, they brought him back, um, if you ever want to see some good punches, every single one of my punches was a dead, right on, like it was like the real punch. Right. I was so pissed off at uh, Jerry. And I don't think you ever knew. I think you just thought I was basically a lot, you know, this is how the hard boys work or something. Right, right. <laughs> I don't know, but I was pretty steamed. And then I calmed down. And then when I put him in the sharpshooter, I knew. I said, when I put him in, he's going to resist right away. I said, so I'll put it on nice and easy. And then I went to a nice, big, long, deep squat, and I put that thing on like you would never. I, right. I, he was giving me the office. Um, I put it on for, I think, five straight minutes, which is really hard after working two matches. And um, he literally crawled to the dressing room. He crawled around on the floor in the back. He was he was in a lot of pain. <laughs> that was for the two spuds that he gave me. Um, but in f fact, Jerry was a lot of fun to work with. You know, once we got past those kind of things, his potatoes and my receipts, I guess. And right. I always liked liked him. And then once we started working house shows and kind of got an idea of what we really were doing, uh, he was always a night off. Always had a ton of heat, and it was always like. I can remember walking in the dressing room and I see Jerry Lawler's name and I was like, huh, great. You know, it's going to be easy. You know, it's choking me with this train. Or right. The popsicle stick and getting on some little old lady. And then the, you know, I, it was always easy. It was always easy and always had a lot of heat. And I was just looking at it from an entertainment standpoint. Jerry Lawler was always extremely entertaining to watch. So I enjoyed Jerry. 